What is going on guys, Christian Music here. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome, I'm glad to have you. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a, a DJ mix without a DJ controller. Now, all we're doing is replicating the two, the three DJ knobs on a DJ controller uh, in a DAW. Right now, I have Ableton Live 9, but you can do this on any DAW you like. Logic, Pro Tools, Fruity Loops, GarageBand, even. You could probably make it work there. But, uh, so what we're gonna do, we only need audio tracks, so you can delete all the MIDI, MIDI tracks, and you're gonna have, you're gonna wanna have an EQ3, uh, EQ8, uh, I mean, if you wanted to, you could do it that way if you're more advanced, but EQ3 for the three, uh, the lows, the mids, the highs on a DJ controller. So you want to go over here, EQ3, and you want to get the gain low, put that on the plus, EQ3, gain mid, put that on this little plus, and then the same thing for the highs, so that way you have more control. And all you need to do, let's get rid of that one, all you need to do is Command D or Control D, uh, depending on what you, I'm control D because I'm on a PC, command D if you're on a Mac. So, and you press this arrow to get rid of it if it's bothering you, whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how you do that. I, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. A lot of people overlook it. So you wanna have your highs, your lows, and your mids. So I have one song over here, and I'm just gonna mix uh, two, two, uh, two parts of the song, right? So this is, uh, they're, they're on beat. I warped them so they're on beat. I mean, they're the same song, but on beat with the 120. I think originally they were 128, but I put it at 120. So here we go. And I'm just going to give you an example on how you can mess with the highs. The highs, the lows. So it's just the lows. That was the mid. And this is the low. Turn it all the way down. So it's basically the same thing as a DJ controller. Obviously, you can get creative with it. Maybe add an auto filter, you know. And just beep it up so here we go if you want to start it up like this like a filter in a DJ controller you have all, all this all this at your disposal just work with it in the arrangement view and uh, so And now it goes into the next track. And if so for the volume, the volume is easy. You just go to the mixer and you go to the track volume and you can do it that way. So you can um, you know, lower the volume over here while this one's raising up the volume. You see what I mean? So that's pretty much how you do that. I hope it was simple enough for you guys. I am going to show you one of mine that I did I'm not going to save that. Hopefully, I don't need it. <laughs> oh, one of mine that I did, I'll put the link uh, in the video description on what you can sound like with this. Um, I added white noise at the bottom here for the rises and the drops to make it a bit more dramatic. But uh, other than that, that's the only thing I added. I added a lot of, you can tell I added a lot of filters and EQs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks. Uh, they're not they're not there obviously because I deleted the I deleted all the songs off of my uh, my little folder that I was using but as you can see here uh, see this is my acoustic thing uh, if you want to hear this again I'll put it in the description maybe I'll put it on screen this is a uh, this is a Kendrick Lamar humble acapella so you can add acapellas uh, you know get really fancy with it everything everything you see here you can do and it it sounds just like a DJ mix if not I like this one more I did this when I used to do uh, chair mixes for my uh, for my school when they would go competitively I use the arrangement view because of course you have more options when you use a DAW over you know the DJ controller um, I don't know why I still have this one but as you can see, this is just the acapella, so you can add acapellas, get really funky with it, add your style. Yeah, of course it doesn't sound like really good, because, uh, you know, it's... Uh, a lot of stuff got deleted but <laughs> but anyways this is how this is how it would look when you are done and finished this is how it would look the uh, total there's 25 uh there's t 25 tracks audio tracks so uh it could get pretty heavy when i used to do 
you know, a long, long mix, like an hour mix, 45 minute mix. I would have like a lot, a lot of different tracks. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps you guys. Uh, I know I got a question like, can I mix with the, I'm a producer, but I want to get into DJing, but I don't know if I would like to mix. This is how you can know if you like to mix. This is so fun. I spent hours on this. It's just, it's crazy. You get lost in this, but I hope it helps. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm being a bit stressed. My keyboard broke. My my musical keyboard's been broken. I need another one. But now I need to buy a new keyboard, like a typing keyboard. So, you know, it, it, it's it, we're we're taking a toll over here on the channel, but it's 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 getting it's getting worked up and worked on. I'm um, trying to get videos out to you guys. So, this is a little bit a little bit short, but I uh, appreciate everything that y'all do. Comments, like, subscribe. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow with another video. Peace. I'm out. Uh, have a great day, great night, and uh that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.